Welcome to Catalyst 444 YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing half-life. Remember, half-life is a subtopic on the radioactivity. What is the half-life of a radioactive element? The half-life of a radioactive element is defined as the time taken for a radioactive substance to decay and reduce to half of its initial or original quantity. Let's take it again. The half-life of a radioactive element is the time taken for the element to reduce to half of its initial quantity. Remember in the concept of radioactivity, which I explained in the previous video, we discovered that radioactive substances tend to reduce in quantity as time goes on. Take a look at uh, a substance like camphor. You know camphor, the one you use in a preserving clothes. Uh, against cockroaches and all that. Camphor, yeah. You know camphor sublimes. If you get a camphor, a certain quantity of camphor, and you drop it in an open table where air can touch it, you discover that as time goes on, the quantity or the mass of the camphor you dropped there will continue to reduce as it sublimes. The quantity of the camphor keeps going down. That is exactly what we are discussing here. Something related to that anyways. Now, you discover that when a reactive substance is kept, as time goes on, a certain quantity, a certain mass of that substance will be decaying out. It will be emitted out. Remember, radioactivity is the process or it is a spontaneous emission of a particle. That is radioactivity. Now, the time it will take, the time it will take a radioactive substance to reduce to half of its original quantity, that time is what we call the half-life of that element. Now, we can calculate half-life mathematically using the formula that says half life is equal to 0 0.693 divided by decay constant k or we can say that half life is equal to ln 2 divided by k. And when you press link 2 in your calculator, it will give you 0 0.693. Remember, t half as a symbol, t half is a symbol for half life. Whenever you see t sub half, it simply means half life. Now, k stands for what we call the decay constant. That is the quantity or the amount of that substance that decays in one second or one minute or one day depending on the unit of your time. Now, mathematically, half-life of an element is given as ln 2 over k or it is 0 0.693 divided by k. And what is k? k stands for decay constant. Remember, k is called decay constant. while t half is half life now we are also going to see other half life equations in the next video do well to click the next video but before then remember we say that the half life of any element is the length of time taken for the element to reduce to half of its initial 
quantity. For instance, if I have 10 grams of uranium, if I keep 10 grams of uranium on a desk now, and after 600 years, I discover that the 10 grams has reduced to 5 grams. Remember that 5 is half of 10. If it takes the uranium 600 years to reduce to half of its initial quantity, to move from 10 grams to 5 grams, then 600 years becomes the half-life of the uranium. I just use that assumption. Remember, half-life is the length of time taken for a radioactive element to reduce to half of its initial quantity. In the next video, we are going to take some calculation examples on half-life. Thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.